today then we're going to be testing out the Hobby Eagle A3 Pro V2 gyro stabilizing system that I've put in here just as a test so I know how this flies. We'll see how we get on in the two stabilizing modes. First off in the normal mode. Now today there's virtually no wind so I'm not expecting that to do very much. Maybe it will assist on landing but more interestingly for me and for my future project with the Lancaster is the auto recovery mode. When I switch into the level mode then we'll see how the plane reacts. Provided it looks like it's working okay I'll then switch it back into normal mode, put the aircraft into some unusual attitudes, not unusual for me, and then flick the switch and hopefully it will recover. Let's see how we get on. Throttle active. That's okay. Now we're starting off in the first mode so the gyro is effectively disabled and hopefully once we're in the air we'll put it on and see how we get on. Wish me luck. Eleven volts. And she's away. One wheel missing by the looks of things. Was that my wheel? Uh, oh well, never mind. Should be an interesting landing. Right, so there, hands off. She's flying straight and level, and this is with the gyro off. So bring her around. Now I've switched the gyro on to normal mode. And that should correct, but as I said, there's no wind to speak of today, so I'm not expecting it to do very much. So yeah, once again, with the gyro on, completely hands off there. It's flying fine. That should be at a suitable height. If I bring her around again, we'll switch into the auto level mode. Coming around. now she's in auto level. So I'm trying, I'm moving the sticks around like crazy and it's not doing very much at all. So we'll flip it back into normal. Bring the plane around. Now that's, we'll put it into uh, a silly altitude. So let's pitch it up, switch it into auto level and it recovers. Bring her around again. Now we're still in the auto level mode. Let's switch her back into normal mode. We're going to back towards me now. So if I do something fairly silly like that, and auto level, and it recovers perfectly. So I'm really happy with the way that this Hobby Eagle gyro is performing. It's certainly doing the job for me. And hopefully it will stop the Lancaster from falling out of the sky too readily. 11 volts. As you can see in the level mode, it limits the bank angle. I think it was 60 degrees. We can alter that in the programming if we want to. But the most important thing is that it auto levels. So once again, switching it back into just the level mode, I can do silly things. I try and dive into the ground, flick it up, and there she is, completely hands-free. As a result, then all I have to do now is to land it with only one wheel. So for landing, we'll put it in just the normal mode. Landing, Rolly. One wheel on my wagon. <laughs> well, that, that stopped it then. <laughs> well, that, that stopped it then. <laughs> there we have it then, a successful, if uh, exciting, test of the Hobby Eagle Gyro. It's working exceptionally well, does what it says on the tin. I can go ahead now and uh, assemble the Lancaster. Thanks for watching.